Hi and welcome to this tutorial of how to do virtually perfect teaching during this remote teaching time that we're doing. Now my latest greatest extension that I really like and what, what I want to share with you is the breakout rooms. So what it is, it's really an opportunity for us all to take our synchronized teaching to the next level. What you can do is that you install the Google Meet Breakout Rooms by Robert Hudek, that extension, and facilitate learning with ease. And I'm going to show you now how that happens. So first of all, we go to Chrome Web Store and type in Breakout Rooms. And the first one, Google Meet Breakout Rooms by Robert Hudek is the one that you want to install. So click on that. I already installed it. So there we go. It will be up here on the top as a same icon. So you can see the B icon, Breakout Rooms. And what happens is that when we click on this, it will enable a new page a new sidebar page that is going to give us our breakout rooms settings. And I'm going to show you how that works. So what you want to do is you want to click on, you have your tabs open and you want your breakout rooms. You click on courses, though these are basically like our classes. Here you can see I've already created some of my own. It is this simple. First of all, you're going to click on the plus green plus a reminder changes are not saved. So if you move on between the tabs without clicking the blue save button, then you need to start all over again. So uh, what I do here is I'll do um, PYP meet. So this is going to be my PYP meetings that I will have virtually and we will have breakout rooms for that. So I'll click on save. My next job is to go to my rooms and here I need to select my course. Now I have my PYP meet and I have my main room and the main room address bar is empty. I need to get that now for myself. What I'll do is that I need to use my Google Classroom and I will go into my PYP professional development and I'll copy my meet link, copy link address. And I get back to my main setting and here now I have opened up my main room so this is the main room where all your students will come in so this is where we will have all the students that join at first then you want to add your breakouts so first of all uh, for this PYP meeting, I would have uh, report writing. So those who want to do reports will be writing reports. And I need to give now a individual name, a dedicated name for this um, class. So I will give PYP reports. The second one would be our CLP problems. What should we stop? What should we continue? So I'll do a CLP group and that is going to be named PYP CLP. And I'll do one more, which would be um, what we can do um, for our evaluation. So evaluation and this I will call PYP evaluation and now I have my main room where everyone comes in then I have my reports my PYP CLP and the evaluation room and I need to again click on that blue 
save button otherwise I cannot start my meet next time. Now I come into the main tab and here I will be able to start my class. Now before you do that you want to be set going into the settings first because what I would suggest that you do is that instead of tiles separate windows you go tabs same window this will if you have many uh, different windows uh, it's going to be hard in the same tab the same window it's going to be easier for you to do that so that is the thing that I will do um, automatically now I'll go back into my meet I will say start class the course I choose to be the PYP meet and how many breakout rooms I have three breakout rooms to start off the meet I can now click on open main plus breakouts and it is going to open them into this separate window right next to and make sure that everything is getting ready so I have now my evaluation I have my CLP I have my report and I don't need to be full screen and I have my main so here I am and as you can see my camera is not on my microphone is turned off as well and uh, my audio my listening my um, headset is on so I can listen but I'm not visible and I am not heard yet in here I can move and this is where it gets really great so I can move between the rooms by clicking on these tabs here and you can see how when I press the arrows it moves on me on these tabs and I can rotate around and right now I have listening open for everything now what I can do on the below is the broadcast now this broadcast tab gives you the ability to listen to all rooms at once so if you have a small group um, you can actually listen to all of your breakout rooms simultaneously and go into the room if you're needed you can also open up your microphone as you can see all of them turn into green so now I would be speaking into all of the rooms at the same time which you could say uh, please return to the main room you can also open up your camera and close your camera from from the control or you can do it here with manually right next to you so this is you can also move by clicking on the tabs and you can move again by clicking on the arrows here on that you also have and this is my favorite part you can mute and remove all of your so you can hang up the whole you can say breakout is over you can remove all from this room only mute all on this room only or mute all in main. so you are in control of who is in the class and how long assigning breakouts is super easy by clicking on you can copy paste your breakout room addresses and then you can paste it on to a Google Doc and share it uh, from the beginning of the class so students can just click on the link in a Google Doc so this is right now the very best thing that we can have for 
our virtually perfect teaching and it is my tech tip for today i hope you enjoyed this one please like comment and subscribe i will work more of these on your way throughout the remote learning experience that we are now uh, doing.